Hello again, Tuesday followers, Tuesday chat followers. Now, have I got a story for you? I had a wonderful Hudson member, long-term Hudson client come to me last week um, with a specific question. He had come into quite a large sum of money from which he wanted to generate a specific income to cover expenses. Now, he didn't want to take too much risk with these funds. Um, he, before, he, before we spoke, he'd, he'd done a lot of his own research, um, looking at certain term deposits and um, at call cash interest rates and so forth. And look, there's a lot of um, compelling interest rates at the moment with um, cash rates increasing so much. So um, one, of the, one of the investment options he came to me with was um, a term deposit with Rabobank. Now Rabobank, if you don't know who they are, they specialize in agribusiness. So uh, a bank for farmers and the like. Um, anyway, he came to me with the attached product disclosure statement about a Rabobank term deposit. Now I had no idea, I hadn't seen this uh, product before. Um, anyway, we had a chat about it. Um, what struck me though, without knowing anything else, was the interest rate on offer was 6.25% over a five year term deposit. Now that immediately rang alarm bells for me because there's, I couldn't see any, like the closest I could have come to that was four and a half percent. So this is you know, nearly 2% higher than anything else you could get on the market. So it makes me question, okay, if they're offering that interest rate, how are they investing the funds? It can't be, it can't be a cash fund because they're taking risk on those monies. Um, along with this amazing interest rate was the fact that if there were any additional interest rate increases by the RBA during the period, the increase would be passed on to investors. Um, and likewise, no decrease would be passed on. So you were always gonna be guaranteed to get that higher rate. Now the client said to me, his own words were, it seems too good to be true. So that, that really says it all. I went off and I had a bit of an investigation. He came to me late last night and said, it's not a legitimate product. So this is a, really a warning to everyone. Um, I think everyone's on edge anyway with data breaches by Optus, now Medibank. Um, this is the product disclosure statement. Um, it looks legitimate. There are legitimate um, ASIC and APRA information on the back. Um, so it can look legitimate, but you've got a question. 6.25% over a five year term, that just doesn't, it's just not right. So, you know, if something smells fishy, um, if, if it does seem too good to be true, it is, it always is. So this client of mine had a significant amount of money to invest and had he not investigated this further or had we not had a chat and just questioned some of these ideas, you know, who knows what could have happened. So I've been quite passionate about this because I've looked at on Scam Watch, it's not on Scam Watch. So you just really need to be super cautious about what you do and don't just jump on something, talk it over. So if any of you have um, anything you want to talk about, just call me, like use me as um, a second opinion really to work out whether this is a legitimate um, option. Anyway, that's enough. It's getting a bit, getting a bit heated. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you next week. Um, something important next week. So see you then.